In my game I have recently added this pop-up text with some icon and I will show you how to do that. We will start with creating the UI. So we can right click in the hierarchy, go under UI and create canvas. The render mode we will set it to word space and we can change the scale to something like 0.02 and zero out the position like this. I will also create new empty game object under which I will put the canvas. And under the canvas we will add just some text, obviously you can add also some icon. And also I will change the order in layer on the canvas because I already have some stuff in here. And we can use the rect tool to make the canvas a bit smaller. And also once more don't forget to zero out the positions. So this should be all, we can just make prefab from this pop-up game object, so just drag it to some folder and we will create two scripts. One will be just for the pop-up and second one will be for the pop-up manager where we will actually instantiate the pop-up game object. So to the pop-up game object we will just add the pop-up script and also we will create the pop-up manager and add the script to it. So we can delete this pop-up object and go into the prefab. To this we will add the script and we can go to edit the script. Here we will only need to add some variables. Because we are using the UI, we need to add using unityengine.ui. And we will add variable for the text. And also public string variable for value of the text. Now on the start we will just set value of the text. So text.text .text equals text value. And we will just destroy the game object after we have played the animation. But for this we will first create the animation. So we can select the canvas object, open window, animation and animation. Here we can click create. And this will be pretty simple. Just hit record, go to some frame. And now we can just move it and scale it down to zero. And like this we have pretty basic animation for the pop-up, you can obviously play with it a bit more. Now because the animation seems to be a bit quick, I will also go into animator and here I will set it to speed, let's say 0.3. And I will check uh, how long the animation is, so you can see here it is 0.5 seconds, but because I have set it to 0.3, speed it will be something about 1.5 seconds. So in the script I will say destroy this current game object after 1.5 seconds. So we will just set the text volume, play the animation and after the animation is played we will destroy the game object. Now we will actually need to do some coding that we know when we want to spawn the pop-up game object and also where we want to spawn it. So open the pop-up manager. Here we will need two variables, one will be for the camera and second will be for the prefab. I want to spawn the object when I click with my mouse, so I can say if input get mouse button down. Then I need to get the mouse position. And also on the mouse position we need to set the Z axis to the minus of the camera's transform Z position. And now we will need to get the word position because this is just the mouse position on the screen. So vector free, word position equals then our camera cam dot screen to word point and import the mouse position. And now we can just instantiate the prefab on the word position. So instantiate, pop up prefab on the word position and we can just create new pattern new one. And we also need to store that object in a variable. And now on this pop-up object we need to set the text volume. And now we need to get the component, which we call just pop-up. And set the text volume. Don't forget to assign all of those volumes and this should be all that we need. 
Now you can see that the text appears on the position where I click and it is slowly fading away. Now we could obviously spawn this text at any other position at any time. And if you would want to add some icon, you can just go to the pop-up prefab and under the canvas UI you can add some, let's say, image. And in the script you could just assign the image the same way that we did it with the text. And now we can see that it is also showing the icon that I have added. So I hope that this video was useful. The pop-ups can be used for many things. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!